Hey everyone, Charlie here. Hope you're all doing well. Long time no see. Next week is my 30th birthday. <laughs> Talked a little bit about it before, the one cuppas and things like that. And to be honest, I'm not really all that worried about it. But, um, you know, as with every birthday, I think, uh, as with every new year, whatever the case may be, it does sort of make you stop and think about uh, where you are, what you're doing, how you got here, things like that, right? And a recent event uh, in Japanese sort of pop culture has sort of placed a little bit extra weight onto that whole uh, sort of introspective experience. Now, uh, ordinarily, I don't care at all about about pop culture uh, stars and things like that. Like, don't get me wrong, like I was bummed out, for example, when Carrie Fisher died, uh, and when some other stars have died who have like played characters that I really cared about in movies or or uh, animation or games or something like that, I've been like, oh man, that's too bad, but then pretty much I move on and I don't really think much about it because ultimately the way I feel about it is that there are people dying literally every single second, probably right now as I'm saying this, there have been like five people have died, I don't know, you can Google it, I'm sure it's a lot more than that um, if you really wanted that kind of information. But it's sort of taken on a new thing for me because I read, I think it was yesterday, that uh, Horikita Maki, a uh, 28-year-old Japanese actress, has uh, retired from show business to focus on her family, which of course is cool if that's her decision. Um, and to be honest, I've never seen anything that she's been in before. I've never seen her movies, never seen any, any dramas or anything like that that she's been in, so I don't really know her for anything, with the exception of one music video way, 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 way back in like 2006 or 2007. And it's that music video, or not the music video, but the experience and the importance of that music video that I want to talk to you about today as I'm sort of coming up on my 30th birthday here. Now, uh, way, way, way back when, before Charlie no Sekatsu was ever a thing, I started uh, as a YouTuber as uh, doing, doing cover songs, particularly Japanese, uh, covers of Japanese music on a channel that back then was called Drit State 7. If you're a fan of uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Forgotten Realms, you may, you may know that name. But I started out doing cover songs, uh, like I said, in 2007. And my very first song was a song called Sangatsuka uh, Konaka, which means March 9th. And it's a song about moving on and about, uh, you know, the things that happen uh, when you grow up. You graduate high school, you get married, you start a job, whatever the case may be. And uh, in the music video for this song, uh, there is this young actress who is playing this, this, uh, this schoolgirl, uh, this, this high schooler who graduates, her sister's getting married, and, and leaves her like her, her suit to go out and get interviews after, after high school or after college so she can start uh, you know, moving on to the life of an adult. And to be honest, I, I would never have put two and two together that uh, Hori Kitamaki and the actress in this music video uh, were in any way connected, <clears throat> except for the fact that I was at uh, karaoke just a few days ago and I was doing like a free time thing and I was there for four hours and whatever, that's not important. But I, I sang this song for the first time in a little while and I got to thinking, I wonder who that actress is and I wonder if she's anybody now kind of thing, you know? And literally like the next day, uh, I saw I saw her picture and I was like, holy crap, that's the woman, and it turns out she's retiring. And the reason why all this is important, right, is because as I said, that was my first video as a YouTuber, even though after I sort of, that channel died down, even though it was really, really successful, and I mean very successful, particularly compared to this channel. Um, <laughs> not that this channel is unsuccessful, so to say, but, um, you know, there was there was this there was this break between when I was making videos for that channel and started this one, and uh, looking back on it, and looking back on the lyrics of that song and and that video and what it meant to me at the time and what it sort of started for me, um, I don't know. It sort of hit me in a way that I didn't expect it to, and so ultimately it's not really about this actress. Although you know I wish her luck as as I do anybody who's starting a a new phase of their life. Uh, but in 2007, I was preparing slash just coming back from my very first time spent here in Japan. I came over, as I've talked about many times before, to Aichi and did uh, work in Japanese history and Japanese language while I was there, although I subsequently 
forgot all of the language ability that I had that I had built up uh, at the time. And when I came back, I was like, okay, well, I, I you know, I wanted to keep studying, and so I started watching this drama called Ichirituru no Namida, which means One Liter of Tears, a very, very famous uh, uh, novel and also drama at the time, starring Sawajiri Erika. And this band, uh, Remy Oroman, was was uh, doing the themes, one of which was uh, Konayuki, and the other one was Sangatsuka Konoka. And so I heard this and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna watch this show and I think I can sing this song pretty well, although now, now looking back on the video then, which I will link to, it's, it's, uh, it's not all that great of a, of a performance. But um, it's interesting because in this, in this video where I'm, where I'm singing this song, you know, this, as, as I said, it's 2007, and I have a shirt that has a kanji on it that says uh, umikaji, which means uh, it's the Okinawan way of saying umikaze, which is sort of like sea breeze, right? And so I was wearing a, a kanji shirt. I was really, really into drama. I was really, really into anime. And maybe at that time you could have accurately described me as a weeaboo, um, which I don't, I don't give a shit about that word anyway, usually. Um, and sort of to see that was when I was when I was taking my first steps towards towards getting here. And a lot of things happened between then and now. Um, people came into my life and left it, sometimes for, 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 for better, sometimes for, for worse, at least temporarily. And it's just been a really interesting transition. You know, of course, I, I almost got married and then I didn't get married. I almost went to graduate school and then I thought, no, that's not what I want to be doing in my life and I became a writer. And then I was like, yeah, I still want to be a writer, but I also want to try out the teaching thing. And I've always wanted to go back to Japan. Why have I been ignoring that part of myself for however long? Um, and then now I'm here, and I'm singing the same song that I was singing 10 years ago, except there's, there's different weight to it. 10 years ago, as I was a, a freshman in college, you know, uh, actually, I guess at the time, I was, I was just becoming a sophomore. And... Uh, you know, I, I had no idea about so many things, about love, about, about finance, about, about student loans, about friendship, about certain kinds of betrayal and connection and, and what, what real relationships actually mean and the weight they can have and, and what hard work means and all these other things. And now I'm here doing ultimately what I wanted to do for a very long time. And in the background, there's always been this song. Uh, it used to be that I would sing it every single time I went to karaoke, and I went away from it for a little while for whatever reason, and, and uh, yeah, no. I'm not sure there's, there's really any, any, any point to this video beyond to say that it's just really interesting to, to be able to have that perspective, to have it sort of uh, almost, almost forced upon you, right? Because I wasn't really thinking about it too much, um, but then suddenly there was this thing that was this very concrete part of my past because for, for you know, as I was falling asleep or as I was doing homework or as I was trying to study kanji at the time, the song, this band would be playing in the background or the drama would be playing in the background. And so, so it kind of formed this foundation of so many things that I was doing. And then, you know, I got some success on YouTube from it. Um, pretty, pretty huge success, actually, from, from some of those covers that I did. And it became like this thing where I was interacting with people from Japan in a very real way for for not the first time, but one of the first times. And that sort of cemented things for me, and now I'm here, and as I say, it's taken on a different meaning, so. Anyway, I thought it was really interesting. I wanted to swear, I wanted to swear, where, where, wanted to swear, where, 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 where. I wanted to <laughs> share this experience with you guys because I'm sure some of you have some kind of like the same experiences, right? Whether there's an, there's an anime that really got you into Japan or, or whatever the case may be and, and suddenly it goes away or it comes back, uh, such as the case with Sailor Moon, what was it, Crystal, I think. Um, I had friends who like had gone away from their love of anything related to Japan until Sailor Moon Crystal came out, for example. And so, yeah, that's just, that's just one of the things we're thinking about right now. So. Um, on that note guys, thanks always for watching and supporting the channel. I hope you enjoyed this sort of anecdotal look at my life. It's kind of a weird video without any real point, I suppose. But of course, if you did in fact like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Or please share the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me, and I'll see you all very soon indeed.
Cheers. Nagareru kisatsu no manaka de futo hi no nagasa o kan.